Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Looks like we got a beer mouth package from my good buddy uh, Parrish out in California. Let's see what he sent us today. Alright. First one out of the box here. Looks like a bomber. 22 ouncer. This one is Coronado Brewing's Stupid Stout, 2014 Imperial Stout, coming in at 9% alcohol. I have reviewed several of Coronado Brewing's beers, and uh, not had this one. Nine percent. Doesn't have the IBUs listed on here, and. Uh, other than 2014 being stamped on it in like three different places here, four different places. That's basically for a 9% Imperial Stout, all the information we need to know on this style of beer. So, thumbs up to those guys for, for at least putting a year on it. Alright, the next one, yeah, looks like another bomber. This one is El Segundo Brewing Company. This is their Mayberry IPA. It looks like it's got a picture of Barney on here. I can't tell if that's Opie. Got a little kid there in front of Barney. Uh, date on the label here is 11 So, uh, fairly recent beer. There, well, here we are in the first uh, getting ready to start the second week of uh, of December so this is pretty damn fresh so uh, let's see if there's an ABV yep yeah, 7.1% alcohol on this one so I'm gonna try to review this from pretty quickly uh, being a real fresh uh, IPA or to be pretty tasty all right what this is this looks like a box. Let's see if we can figure this out. Hmm. It is a box. And Parrish is known for sending gifts. Merry Christmas, Greg, right on the box. This is... Oh, it's a beer glass. Wow. Smells like a tulip glass. Wow, look at that. Very heavy. Very thick wall like the double glass I have. got an etching on the bottom of it too. It says uh, PBGC14. Solvent, solvent beer glass. Hop heads beware this glass is not made by one of your own speci specifically for Imperial India Pale Ale. It is named after my personal favorite horse, Nelson Sabon. A hot variety grown in New Zealand, bred to mimic the flavor profile of Sauvignon Blanc grapes. The Sauvignon glass is a big snifter tulip hybrid with a hollow foot. It does amazing feats with aromatic qualities of beer, especially dry hot double IPAs. The snifter shape in the middle of the glass allows the user to cradle the glass in both hands and warm the glass. Good for Belgians or barley wines that need to warm as you drink. While the hollow foot allows you to grasp the glass with little, with very little surface contact area, so it stays cold. Suggested beers are, are double imperial IPAs, triple IPAs, barley wine, high gravity beers, aromatic beers, styles in which dry hopping is prevalent. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, Merry Christmas to you, Paris. Thank you, brother. I do appreciate that. That's, that's an awesome looking glass. Uh, I will be using that in, in the beer reviews since it is very heavy, very nice. Not uh, 
not will uh, won't be scared that just is going to break like some of the other glasses that I have. Uh, uh, some of them are very very thin walled, and this one's not, so it's uh, heavy enough that we can use it occasionally or or, or regularly and uh, and not have to worry about it breaking it when you're washing it. So, all right, let's get into the box here and see. Oh man, this is a big bottle. This is a 750. This one is from the brewery. This is Ignis Fatis. Preservation Series 2014 Orange County. Brewed and bottled by the brewery. Uh, it says alcohol is 8.3% by volume. Wow. And it is written in very, very tiny letters on the back. I'm going to have to put my specs on, guys, because it's written super small. Look at this. This is a special brew created just in time for autumn activities. We invite you to enjoy the subtle spice of this dark, roasty porter while telling ghost stories around the illuminating jack-o'-lantern. Ignis Fathers is best enjoyed fresh, but may develop pleasantly over time. Please store in a cool, dry place. The ideal serving temperature is 50 degrees, best served in a tulip or a wine glass. For sale in California only. So, you can only get this beer in California. That's probably one of the reasons I haven't seen it around here. Because I don't live in California, I'm on the other side of the country. And it does have a date on here. Looks like 07-23-14 on the bottle here. So, uh... Very, very nice. I feel kind of special a lot of times when I get these uh, special releases uh, that you can only get uh, either at the brewery or in a certain area or state. Uh, very, very nice. Let me set this up there so you can see it. The brewery. They do a lot of sours, and I'm trying to expand my palate into some of those, but uh, it's a hard one to get my arms around. It really is. All right. The next one in the box here looks like another bomber. This one is Stone's Tachacity Project, Master of Disguise, Imperial Golden Stout. Stout brewed with cocoa and coffee beans. I have not seen this one. And I have a Tachacity uh, Project in there I plan on reviewing in the next week. Uh, we will add this one to, uh, to that. But I have not seen this one. It's a 9.7% alcohol. And it's got a date on it, but it is so faint I cannot see it. Bottled on 11. Looks like 11 4 of 2014. So, uh, fairly fresh. But I have not seen this particular one, so uh, looking forward to that. And he's sending some big beers, I mean, the bombers and 750s. So I don't know if there's anything else, that's probably it. Yes, that's it. That's everything in the box. So, very nice package from Paris with the Christmas gift glass. Uh, a 750 and three bombers. Uh, we're going to get these into the fridge and get them chilled. Parish, thanks again, brother. I do appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, speaking of the fridge, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys.